damn just add that to my list of l's of the day but you know what is about to happen today i'm about to go get a tattoo okay hey, today is the start of a new vlog Guys, I'm on my wax appointment. I rescheduled. My appointment was at 8.30, but it took me long to get here, so I rescheduled to 8.45. And it's currently 8.45 on the dot. So, I'm speed walking. Speed walking into the building, love. Okay, at least it's not as bad. I thought it would hurt more because I used to get them all the time and I stopped. Really cannot stand shaving. And it's like, I feel like there's no point when I know, it doesn't last. yeah like it grows back like the next morning i applaud the waxers and um people who work in the dental industry that's funny because people always ask because i could never this. yeah i could never be a dentist really but something about mouths i don't know like i could do this all day long doesn't matter <laughs> but a mouth i don't know see how you like it Thank you. Wax is done. I feel the breeze, that's for sure. It didn't hurt. When I first ever got a wax, which was in 2019, I used to go very consistently, and it didn't hurt. Like, my first time didn't hurt. So, since I'm just now, like, turning back. So, because I'm just now, like, returning back, honestly, I thought it would hurt way more. Usually, when I go to get things done, I don't really think about the pain, though. I'm just like, you know, fuck it, like, just do it. And now... On my next things a to-do list. I don't know who Alyssa is. She ordered she ordered a crew neck and I need to drop it off, but I don't know if she's awake. I'm in and out in and out breathing. Hello. Are you awake? Mm, no. Oh. I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me, period. I've been saying that affirmation praying every day literally life has just been so good so all I have to say is just speak positive affirmations every video I feel like I just go off on a tangent bro and y'all probably just be watching like girl what are you talking about but like no seriously like only speak positive affirmations in your life and people are always like oh my gosh I hate my life uh, your life could be so much better if you just shut the fuck up and speak positive affirmations and like speak positivity over your life instead every five seconds you're complaining talking about how much you hate your life blah 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 that's kind of like the same thing with like people who are like oh I'm so ugly obviously people are gonna think you're ugly if all you say is that you're ugly all the time I'm gonna hit y'all back I love you want to get my nose pierced today Here's what we're gonna do. If I get an order today, I'm going to get my nose pierced. <laughs> so I'm getting my nose pierced! Ah! <laughs> I feel like it just hit different when you set Turn goals. Left. Babe, I heard you the first time. I feel like it just hit different when you set goals and like you actually- A quarter mile. It just hit different when you set goals and you just actually achieve them, you know? That was like my second rant today. Oh gosh. <laughs> Y'all probably like, please shut up. <laughs> He might take my life cause I turn nothing in the Y'all, I'm at Walmart. I want to go get some gas, but I forgot to show y'all. My fault. I am extremely hungry, and it took everything in me not to go to Chick-fil-A. <sighs> but it's okay. I'm about to try to find those rhinestones I needed in the last video. It shocked me, cause it's literally only 10 on 9. And I'm like, wow, where are we gonna get? Y'all see this? Do y'all see it? Like, I don't know. Let me ask an employee. Excuse me. Do you know where, like, flatback rhinestones are? Flatback rhinestones? Yeah. Probably need to go to the fabric counter. They probably know. Okay. Yeah, there's nobody there, but thank you. Thank you. Hey, actually, be out of the morning. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just like, ugh. I really thought I was going to be able to find them. In Walmart. Thank you for calling Julian Fabrics and Crafts. We have bags of different colored ones and of the plain clear ones and the 1999 bag. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Nobody was paying twenty dollars for some rhinestones when I literally found rhinestones on Etsy for two dollars. So I'm about to go home eat and then we'll figure we'll figure this all out later. Don't stop. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, so 
y'all it's a couple hours later right now it's currently 1 46. i'm about to go drop off an order and then i'm about to go get my nose pierced <laughs> i just finished some editing for the last vlog y'all was just watching and now I'm about to go. Yeah, the reason this all came about is because like a couple weeks ago, I discovered the filter for a nose piercing. When I was in high school, I used to always wear like a fake nose hoop. And then recently I used to always wear a fake septum. The septum probably is a no-go because mm, I used to wear a nose hoop. And I always was wondering when I used to wear it, like, hmm, why is this so, like, why can't I see myself actually getting this? Now I realize it's because it was on my right side. And my right side isn't personally my good side. Even though I feel like y'all see my right side a lot because I'm always holding the camera like this, but like I feel like my left side is my good side. Like and that's also why I have my industrial pierced on my left side. I don't even nervous for real. I don't really get nervous when I'm about to go get things done to my body because what you get nervous for. <laughs> I was going to schedule my tattoo appointment. Also, I'm up here because obviously the place I'm going to get my piercing is the place that I get my tattoos as well. But I know for a fact that my tattoo artist isn't at work because he doesn't work on Thursdays. And number two, um, I kind of want to wait until it's just a little bit warmer to get it. It's going to be on my knee. I've been wanting a knee tattoo since before I had corona. But obviously then I got corona so I couldn't go get it. I just like, I just haven't scheduled it. I think I'm just going to wait until maybe, maybe like mid-March. I hate to be the one to say it, but I truly do feel like at a certain age you should have to retake your job because it's no way I'm here oh, my nose purse mm -hmm. my finger I'm gonna lift this up a little bit okay. deep it then and let it out this is really you okay yeah that definitely just felt like somebody was pinching yeah my nose. it's just a little bit of pressure I'm just gonna clean you off real quick. Alright, now I'm gonna use the saline so that you don't have to do it again until later. Mm -hmm. Times a day with saline spray, no alcohol, no peroxide, and then keep it in for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna use two different ones, one for on top, one for the inside. Just so that you're not transferring bacteria or nothing. Right. Oh yeah, that's cute. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Bro, I'm so dramatic. I'm over here acting like I just got a tattoo. Literally, because last time I was here, I got my spine tattoo. And like, bro, that was some different shit. It didn't hurt, but like when I was getting in the car, I don't know why I always drive myself to like the worst appointments, y'all. I don't know how I drove home. Cause like, I was like this. Y'all, this is so cute. I feel like a brand new bitch. Hey. Some time has passed since the last time y'all seen me. I think I just got my nose pierced. Um, It's currently been two days since then and i got a new wig i'll show you i went in the bathroom so i took instagram pictures today so go like them thanks you can repost them actually i hate to break it to y'all but the two gym thing is just me doing it myself it's just not gonna work literally like they don't stay on with at least the stuff that i tried to do it with they're not staying on yeah but here's another way i got it from the beauty supply i think it's a hybrid of synthetic and human hair it's by the brand, girl, I don't even know. I think it's by the brand, it starts with the E, Emery, not Emery. It's actually really good for like first day. It looks really good in pictures. Only modification I did with it, I just thinned it out. But yeah, it's super cute. I'm about to wrap it right now though. But I wanted to show y'all the converse I did in my last video since I left y'all on a cliffhanger. So these are, it didn't come out as dark as I wanted them to. But like, they're still like a cute brown. I didn't show y'all the before, bro. Really red, like around the edges. It's kind of, it was like really dirty and red. As y'all can see, it's really white right now, but it was real dirty and red at first. And what I did earlier was, um, I used this Clorox bleach pen. And I kind of just scrubbed it and then I left it like all day. Y'all can kind of see like the little flakes that it left. Just wiping off all of the like dry bleach. I wrap my hair, y'all. I am about to finish. I kind of want to, I have like two hours left, but I'm a really fast editor. So I kind of want to finish editing the last vlog y'all watched. If not finish it, at least get it like pretty much done. I kind of want to start posting like once a week, but I'm not going to make any commitments because it's kind of hard now that I like fully work for myself. Majority of my time goes to like 
planning new marketing and like y'all know the deal my blue light glasses on because I was looking at my phone edit this video I've been procrastinating it because I couldn't find my glasses my blue light glasses are clear. um ciao anyway so style did not no like it made me feel sick afterwards i was like mm -mm, bro. but i'm actually here to get a ew i'm in front of a car that has a back the blue sticker girl f the blue it is it is what it is. i'm actually here at mcdonald's to get a mcflurry i hope they have either oreo or Reese cup they promoting it so they better it get a little hot outside and i promise y'all michiganders get to just get to doing the most like Two days ago, it was like 50-something plus. And they was out here wearing shorts. I wasn't doing all that now. But, oh yeah, Nicole, the nose person, is doing well. She doing fine. Like, I don't even like ice cream, but when it get a little, a little warm out, y'all can give me a McFlurry. What is like kind of hitting up? That video would have hit different if I had to jam. Y'all, it's really my mom's fault. I'm not gonna lie. I told my mom that I was about to go pay $50 for a tube gym, and she was like, why would you do that? Why, why would you pay for your own stuff? You can do it by yourself. And I'm like, bro, like, I see, like, now looking back at it, I see where she coming from. Why is the line not moving is the question. Like, $50 is a lot to spend on one tooth gym that's going to last, like, three weeks or some shit like that. But damn, she just ate that pothole. Anyway, like, I see where it coming from, mom. I see it. I'm actually going to go get nail glue, and I'm going to put it on myself. And if something happens to my teeth, I'm just gonna go ahead and blame it on my mom because she's the one that told me not to go to the professional. I, I put air quotes around professional because like, girl, I almost forgot to lock my doors. You can't trust nobody. Hold on. I need to call you whenever you're ready. Hi, can I have a mini Oreo? Do you have Reese Cup Mc Flurries? Let me see if I um I can pick it up. All right, never mind. Thank you. Wow, I should have known it was a disappointment. Out. That's what I don't get. Like, why do y'all be having kids just to cuss them out every day of their life? And then you wonder why they don't like you. I guess this means that I just have to go to Dairy Queen. It's literally closed! Oreo shake. Oreo shake? Yes. That's all? Yes. Okay. In total is $349. Thank you. 
That's what I like to hear. There you go. Thank you. I just feel like life is great. Today is March 1st, and I just feel like... Did y'all just hear that, bro? It's been a lot of peculiar... <laughs> a lot of peculiar shit happening in my car. Last video, the seatbelt. This video, I know y'all just heard that heat. Come on. And I didn't even touch it. Girl, you can't reverse into the truck. Oh, I was gonna say you can't reverse into the drive through babe. Shock list. DC. EA. She see money all around me. Yes, thank you. You need a man. Why you back? Hey, you bragging and shit. Watching for the boy. I'm trying to get into it. It's not getting into it. Shout out EK. The goal in Walgreens is to find nail glue. I found it. It's here. I'm going to go through and read the wall. Avoid contact with eyes, mouth, and skin. Okay, we're not going to use that one. Avoid breathing vapors. Yikes. Well, I think it's really wraps for me and my my teeth gym journey. I was just trying to get as far away as the music as I could, but I really don't know what to do now. This is so cute. I need to get this. Guess what? What? And I'm stuck in the middle. Let a hoe know. I ain't motherfucking shabby. Y'all, I'm getting my oil change. The turn is right here. I think I got good brakes. I'm not gonna record because that's embarrassing. He's on my home, y'all. I literally have a call in like 15 minutes and I'm about to go downstairs and work. I wanted to show you a quick little haul of the things that I got today. Y'all seen before I went to get my oil change, I went to Walgreens and I only got three things and I couldn't find the nail glue for my teeth. I got this combo of hemp plus a Wapuhi. Oh no, it's Nature's Beauty, but it's their hemp plus Wapuhi body butter and um, body scrub combo. I'm so excited to try these. I usually get the, is it called Soap and Glory? Is that the brand? Hold on, let me look. Yeah, it literally is Soap and Glory. I always use that one scrub they have, like the vanilla, whatever one. These just stuck out to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna try it. Cause like, you really can't go wrong with the exfoliator and they smell so good. It's woman owned and it's plant-based, period. The next and last thing I got for this trip was a journal. Every year I always, y'all know every year I always get a planner. That's all literally notes for my screen collection, right? But like it's in, in the week of February the 15th. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't really gradually keep up with my planner because I have all these notes scattered around. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just get an actual like journaling like notebook. Last thing I did on this vlog was go get a pedicure. Last thing I talked about on this vlog was probably getting two gems, but that's just wraps because every time I'm trying to get them, or like every time I'm trying to do myself, like something goes wrong, so I'm just scratching that whole idea. Instead, we're gonna get like a tooth cap, you know, those little things you just put on your tooth. I'm still in the midst of trying to find one, so y'all just see that way I see that. Before I get into finishing my hair and telling y'all what this day has brought me to do, I just wanna shout out this jewelry brand. They sent me a whole bunch of pieces. A lot of the pieces they sent me were too big for me, but I will show y'all a couple of my favorite pieces. The company is Just Made or Jesse Made Jewelry. Like, I'll throw the link down below. Three to five uses. Nothing is breaking or anything yet, so it's 
pretty good quality. I think it's inexpensive. I mean, this isn't your sponsor, but like the jewelry is cute. So I'm like, why not show you a bracelet? It looks like an anklet though, but I don't think it can fit around my ankle. Not the one at the bottom. That's my fake Cartier, but like the one at the top, it says nine on it. It is literally so cute. Oh no, it's Tango letter necklaces. One just says A on it and then the other one has an N on it. See, very pretty. I love like the jewelry on it. It has like those little beads on it. And I like that a lot because it doesn't like slide through. Lastly, for my favorites, they sent me this personalized um, name necklace. It says 9A on it. The only thing I don't like about this is how the gold, like how the metals are mixed. But it's still cute though. If y'all want to shop, go for it. If not, don't go for it. So like I was saying, basically today, y'all, I've just been having... Not, we're not going to say terrible day because like, you know, I woke up this morning, you know, God woke me up this morning for a reason. I think the root of all my irritations and frustrations today came from last night. Last night, um, I don't know if y'all know, this boy named Meech, he's from Detroit. He has, he's like, if you have a You Matter hoodie, that's who made it. Don't ask me why I just did half of my edges and then went straight my hair. He was holding like a grant for small businesses. And he gave like 10, 10 small business owners or like 10 just like people who create or not 5K. And I entered and you know, I felt really confident. I don't know why. Well, not I don't know why. I guess it was just because like I'm really confident in my work. And like, you know, I have a lot of people that can see that too. Like I'm not just living in my own head rent free thinking that like my stuff is really good like there's a lot of people that like support me and be hungry it wasn't like a vote basis but like i'm just saying because like you just tell your story or not so did that not only am i kind of hurt that i didn't win but i'm just like dang like no clothing brands won but it's cool because you know everything i believe that everything happens for a reason i didn't get the 5k for a reason and then i love my food at my boyfriend's house so y'all know whenever it comes to food I'll be sick as fuck. Like, what else happened today? I didn't get the ones that came out today. So, that's also like, okay. <laughs> Damn. Just add that to my list of L's of the day. But you know what is about to happen today? I'm about to go get a tattoo. So, y'all probably like, girl. I know you're not just getting tattoos just to get them. And no, I'm not. Y'all know. We already know. If you've been watching me, you already know. I don't get tattoos for no reason. I don't get tattoos because other people got certain tattoos i literally just get whatever tattoos i want because i've been wanting them today i've just been in a bad mood all day and i know this would make me happy and usually when i'm in a bad mood it's like it, it's like it's literally like one of three things like i change my appearance i clean up or like i go on drives listen to music whatever usually when i'm like in a bad mood or sad or something i don't do like oh i need a tattoo today i just need that feeling you know like i need that <clears throat> Every time I lay this wig, it just looks so cute. So that's enough of my little rant, okay? So I'll see y'all when I get to the tattoo, please. Okay, y'all, here's a fit of the day. I just put on my sunglasses, y'all know. Got on these ripped jeans. Easy as is. I get my basics from Target. I got on this little Adidas windbreaker jacket type thing. It don't match my shoes, but I don't like give a fuck. I love this jacket though. This is one of my favorite thrifted jackets. And then cause they got like Adidas in the back. But yeah. And no y'all, I don't have an appointment or nothing. I called my tattoo artist before I got up here, but yeah. Let that bitch, let that bitch, let that bitch.
Oh. Sometimes that song, I just have to hit replay, cause like, oh. Yo, best friend, shut the fuck up, hey. Messy, you my orange soda shorty. Seven feet nigga with the big drip on me. Post on your block with your wish list on me. Alright, y'all, so I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm about to go in Kroger and get like groceries. <laughs> no shit. I think this is in video because. We don't got nothing else to talk about. We don't really, we really don't have nothing else to talk about in this video. Like, if I kept this video going, I would just be dragging it. Today was definitely impulsive because, like, I've been wanting this tattoo, but I literally, in the beginning of this video, like, at some point in this video, I remember telling y'all I wanted to wait. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this little, little, this little video. You feel me? Probably changed my hair like three times in this video, so let's not mind that. I'm just in a way better mood. Like, this kind of like my spirits and also on my Instagram I had asked y'all like what do y'all do to get out of a bad mood and like hella people was telling me like a whole bunch of different things and like specifically this one girl was like make sure to always remember the, the good things that are happening <laughs> this, <laughs> this man next to me literally just slammed into the curb in front of us okay anyway but this girl was saying like don't focus on the negative things or the bad things that are happening in your life just focus on the good things that happen in your life and literally i'm so dramatic this morning when i was like going through the loops of life i had a i had literally a sticky note and i was writing down like everything that bad was happening <laughs> so yeah i'm happy she told me that because now like i'm just focusing on all the good things that are happening that's all i wanted to say bye